Ahoy, shipmates. I've taken a little trip away from the port of Southampton. And no, I haven't taken a rocket to the International Space Station. Tempting as that would be. I've made a more, well, a more local journey, shall I say. Normally we like to view the ships in the port of Southampton on the south coast of the UK here. But this time we've gone slightly west to Pool Bay. It's not a usual haunt, but there are a couple of extra special treats for us here. If we have a little fly over here to what's more commonly known as Pool Key. We can see a pair of super yachts. Now I got my timing here completely wrong. If you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see some pointy triangles which are a bridge that opens up. Now the bridge was closed, allowing traffic across, uh, but it was such an enormous rush of boats, the bridge opened up and I had to stay here for the entire time while I let all these pleasure craft pass. Quite interesting. If you'd like to see the full video of these pleasure craft passing, I'll put a link on the screen for you to click on. Certainly one of the disadvantages of having a boat moored on the other side of the swing bridge. But let's get back to the matter in hand. Let's have a look at this super yacht. Here comes the sun. I haven't got a lot of space to move here, but I'm going to take a picture. Well, here comes the sun. It's certainly a whopper when it comes to super yachts. She's 83 metres long with a beam of 14 and a half meters powered by twin 3150 horsepower caterpillar engines this gives her a top speed of 17 knots and a capacity of 16 guests with a crew of 27 she weighs in with a gross tonnage of 2827 built in 2016. She was built in the Dutch yard of Lissingen by Amals Holland BV. The yacht's exterior is the design work of Tim Hayward. It is currently the largest yacht having been built by Amels. Uh, she's large enough to be classed by the Lloyd's Register and is flagged in the Cayman Islands. I think it's time for another super shot here. I can see a good number of shipmates on board swabbing the decks polishing the, well, I was going to say brasses, but probably polishing the stainless steels these days. I thought perhaps we'd uh, have a look at some of the interior shots of the vessel. This is the uh, bridge, the lounge, one of the hot tubs, uh, the beach club area one of the standout features of the vessel. It's very impressive, isn't it? Certainly more of a penthouse apartment than a yacht. And here's the other pool. And there's a lift there inside that spiral staircase. And even a cinema on board. You might be able to see the spiral staircase there. Wonderful kitchen. And the infinity pool. It might be curious.
curious for a deck plan. The bridge at the top. The owner's deck. Wonderful position right at the front of the barrel. And then you have the main deck with the cinema and the restaurant areas. And if we go to the lower deck, you can see the tender garages, two of them, in fact, space for four jet skis. And then you have kitchens, crew quarters. Crew quarters are quite massive, but then a lot of crew to take care of. Well, as well as here comes the sun, we have L and S. Not as large as here comes the sun, but equally a magnificent yacht. The L and S is a 75 meter yacht with a wonderful sense of design. She won the 2019 award for best super yacht. And she was a design from scratch. She has what is known in the trade as a semi-sunken wheelhouse aids to her sleek looks. A large sun deck at the rear. She's owned by Lloyd Dorfman, a billionaire who owns the Travelex Currency Exchange. This yacht was, has been estimated to cost $115 million. Better not crash into it. But time for a little picture here, I think. Now, I think these are truly wonderful super yachts. But I'm not sure that next to the quayside in Paul is the best location for stunning pictures, unfortunately. But we were lucky enough to see her move. The bow of the Here Comes the Sun is actually a touch and go helicopter pad as well. I don't think there's a helicopter pad on Ellen Des though. See, she's still got a passerelle out the back. Ready for passengers to disembark. There are a notable number of design features on DLNS which certainly make her a standout super yacht and probably explains why she won the 2019 best designed yacht. I'm not particularly partial to the blue hue of the hull and the white of the superstructure. Sort of vaguely reminiscent of cruise ship, like the Queen Mary 2 or something. won the best exterior styling of a motor yacht over 60 meters and the best interior of a yacht over 500 gross tons and best arrangement of deck design and best lifestyle features a truly an award-winning yacht Now 
she's moved away from the aggregate distribution of the side of Paul Key. I'll see if I can get a slightly more picturesque shot. Well, I think that will have to do. Here's the infinity pool on board. One of the staterooms. One of the offices. As you can see, really beautiful. I think the best feature is this. It's the underwater lounge. You can stay in there and view the ships go by and the fishes swim by. I think that's truly a standout feature. This has many standout features, one being the central staircase, which is a spiral which goes from the bottom of the ship all the way to the top, of which there is a clear glass panel and a swim pool on top. So as you make your way up the spiral staircase you can see guests are swimming in your pool. saw in the previous pictures of Here Comes the Sun, there was a lift in the centre of the spiral staircase, but the designer of this boat chose not to have the lift in the centre of the spiral staircase, adding to a sense of openness, and with the pool above sending pleasing, rippling light down through the centre of the boat. The surround of the spiral staircase is elegantly finished in a rustic plaster and mother of pearl, executed by the British firm DKT Artworks. Peter Leedsgaard, the designer, said it's all about open spaces, letting light through and creating vistas. In a sense, it's not so much about including the pool window, it is more, why on earth would we not? The owner wanted the yacht to cater for four generations in the family, from the elderly to the young. Safety and usability was a paramount feature. Ella Des also serves to showcase the owner's art collection. This allowed the design team to complement the artworks that were going to be on display with colourful pieces of furniture and bold fabrics. The owner was also very particular on the locations of the artworks and influenced the design of the finished yacht. Unfortunately, she's not going very far, but we can have a, a little watch as she manoeuvres around the pool, harbour. Good old blast from the bow thruster there.
One of the standout features on the boat, as we saw earlier, was is called the Lower Deck Neptune Lounge. The Neptune Lounge, with its tiered seating and uh, chenille fabrics, offers a wonderful view of what lies be beneath and above the sea. Introduced some engineering challenges for the builders to enable the glass panels to withstand the rigours of the sea. The glass had to be made four inches thick. ship are also thick as well, requiring no storm shuttering. It's all part of the elegant and smooth and open design. This also allows the windows to be seamless without the need for bulky frames to attach the storm shuttering. forward-facing observation lounge on the upper deck has full height windows and it transforms into a cinema room with a blackout curtain. in at uh, 2,059 gross tons, a length of 75 metres and a beam of 12. Construction is a combination of steel and aluminium. Speed is 16.5 knots with a cruising speed of 14 knots. is by two 2029 cat engines. Range is approximately 6,000 nautical miles. There is space for 16 guests on board in eight cabins and 23 crew in 11, built in 2018. Sun and L and S. I think L and S would be my choice for my next super yacht. Coming in about thirty five million cheaper than Here Comes the Sun. The disadvantage of no helicopter parking. But I think I prefer the aesthetics and the interior design. Well, until next time, shipmates. <laughs>